I'd like to share my experiences in using the SV33, the singing, for recording. I've used it mostly for in here. I've taken it out and about as well, but not for recording in the manner in which I've just done. I decided to handhold it, so let me get over the glove bit first, because somebody commented I have done a video on it. It's simply that uh, the hand holding without the glove. Any fiddling. I can do it actually. I might have to train myself. I get my finger under this bit so it stops any uh, tendency for it's fairly heavy to drop. Get in a comfortable position. Do my fiddling till it's comfortable and then just leave my hand alone. Hmm. Anyway, I've been through several pairs of gloves. I used the black one in the video for the thing because it matched everything better. Just, And I was, I was miming anyway, badly. Got to tell you, if you're the kind of person that doesn't sing anything the same thing twice because it's a jazzy background or whatever background, try to mime to that. Forget it. Yeah, I think this is probably reduces it a bit, but I could probably learn to do without it. Anyway, I wanted to handhold because I just find it so much easier to do all this stuff and to bring it in if I need to and then take it away if I'm getting louder. And if I'm getting louder, still I can just back it away and then if I want to whisper, I can just bring the thing in. It's just so easy. I've seen singers on the stand and they, it's just difficult to do and then they don't do it. And I've had a, an engineer say, actually don't bother with any of that. We'll, we'll deal with it in, with compression and stuff. No. Here first, for me. I'm going to play you some of the recordings. I'm going to say, extremely pleased with it. In fact, you can handhold it. All the other stuff, the fact that the bottom end's so clear. Let me play you some clips here. They're just cut, so I apologise for the crude uh, editing or even lack of, almost. I don't know when last I told you. But I'd like to make it with you. When I heard that back, I wondered if he'd done an EQ. I don't know when last I told you. But I think not. It's because I put, I don't know. If I were to do that again, I would probably bring make that a bit softer and bring this closer because I wanted the bass, a bit more bass in there. I don't know when last I told you. Yes. I don't know when last I told you. You, you, you. I was about here. I don't know when last I told you. You can, you can hear makes that uh, the bottom end is not so prominent. No worries, it's not a big deal. Uh, I asked him to leave all the instruments, everything alone. Really, EQ, compression, the lot. But he did add some compression to the voice. I Some of the original were a little bit too low. If I did it again, it was all a bit of a rush and I just went over the road, so you know it's difficult in these circumstances. Uh, anyway, so there is a small amount of compression. No EQ as far as I'm aware on the voice or any of the instruments apart from drums. Um, that's why I like it. I don't see why not get the sound right to start with. Why fiddle about with anything else? Can't see the, the necessity for it. We're going to go on and I'll explain what I like about this particular mic in this circumstance I used it. What I noticed when I was doing it is that there's all that area there, so it affects the way I sing. I want to explore that kind of area, which seems to be very, very clear. Uh, so it's worth going there. You get something out of it. You get some feedback to it. I noticed that in that area there. Really reaching out for the other side. Yeah, those breath things there you can do, yes. Next bit. I wanna make it with you. I noticed when I was doing that that I could ah, 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 
very controllable. I've forgotten all the aspects. I'm not using many of them. I know it picks up everything here. But there is that broad pickup there, and you hear that, uh, yeah, that it doesn't change the tone very much as you move it around. So you can... Wonderful freedom with it. Really think that we could make it go. Oh, I was kind of us there. Wonderful to work with, I find. What's the next bit? No, you don't know me well. Again, the low stuff. Every little thing. Where, every little thing. Where, where. People. Sometimes, I don't know. I've talked to people about this and they say they always do this on vocals. They always do this. And it's always about cutting the bass. Bass wasn't cut on this. I don't know, maybe it's me. See what you think. I, I don't think he gets it. I, I don't think he gets it. It's so clear. It doesn't get in the way of anything. There's bass on there. I can tell you. Um, if you're wearing headphones, um, we brought it down a bit. But the way I recorded it is it's reggae. So, but I don't hear that being a problem. I don't hear that being a problem. I don't hear that being a problem. That's with that 100 hertz bass cut. I don't, completely different, isn't it? Is it me? Maybe I'm talking baloney. But to me, yeah, 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 yeah. What are you going to cut that for? Is it necessary anymore? You know, I'm wondering a lot of this stuff as I'm starting to do this, and I'm no expert, I'm a complete novice, really, with the recording side of it and stuff. And there's people who have been doing it for many, many years, but I'm wondering if they haven't got a bit of Emperor's New Clothes these days. Everybody's EQing this and compressing that and taking this off and taking that. We've got the equipment now, surely. We don't need to do that. Get the thing right as it goes in. Work on your singing if you need to. And leave it alone, I'm thinking. Don't know. Time will Again, that area. So clear for me that it's worth going there. Okay, when I go up the octave now, I think this is interesting. I've often wondered, you know, I've talked before about rock singers and da-da-da-da. It's not criticizing anything because I'm into all that, but it's just not necessary, it seems to me, because low notes have got... Lows and highs. S -s highs. Highs. As high as any female voice, I'm pretty sure, for those, all those kind of parts. The more you cut the bass and bring it up, the less there is in there. The less there is in there, the less I think the quality of the mic matters. So, see what you think when I go up the octave here? I think... I wouldn't say any mic would do, but I think nearer to any mic would do. All the stuff I've just been talking about it doesn't apply. I don't think. Oh, you don't know me well. There, we've got some of the air thing. Every little thing, only time will tell. Short or long. Higher still. Yeah, I don't know what you think. I, I, there's less to hear. And in, certainly in that part of your voice, I'd love to demonstrate here with the SM58 and so on, but I'm in a flat. And uh, it's not appropriate, really. For this, certainly. Yeah, so far, I'm thinking fantastic. And the fact that I can handhold it. Just. Well, said enough. <laughs> 